Welcome back, my dear student. So it's time for us to start playing around with our application a little bit, right? Learning how to create stuff, how to read data and all that good stuff from the many to many relationship, right? All right, cool. So let's get going. Let's uh, go to the PHP uh, Storm editor or to your editor. Actually, this is an IDE, guys. Get used to calling it a powerful IDE, one of the most powerful PHP Storm IDEs. Now, if JetBrains, which is a company behind PHP Storm, wants to give me, you know, some money for advertising their product, eh, that's okay. I can, I'll take something. All right, you know, I, I mean, I love PHP Storm, but if I get something from it, I, I'm good. Actually, no, they don't give me anything. That's okay. I don't want that. I don't want anything. I just recommend what's best for my students. Anyway, so let's go ahead and create. Uh, let's see we actually need a user guys all right so let's go back to the PHP admin PHP admin let's create a user real quick actually no that's one too many I mean literally that's the database table we got to go to many too many if we can find it there we go let's create a user real quick and the user, of course, is going to be Edwin DS and coding faculty and password one, two, three. I don't recommend it. We might change that later. And remember talking. Eh, I don't want you to remember me yet. Maybe we'll talk about that when we go to the login section of our course. And when we're building a really awesome application, right, guys? All right. So. We got the user. Let's go real quick to our routes because that's what we're using to just learn this stuff for now. Later on, we're going to be using other cool things. But right now, we got to go to route um, and we're going to create something right away. Let's go ahead and create something. I love creating. All right, cool. Let's do, let's create a row and at the same time attach it. Assign a user to that role or assign a role to a user, right? So we're going to say create function with a little closure there. All right, cool. So we're going to say we're going to hold this in a variable. Of course, we got to find the user first and the user's name and all that great stuff. Well, we don't have to find the user's name, but we find the user by the each ID. And we can do the app space, the namespace, guys. We're not going to do the namespace. We're going to import it from the top. There we go. Import it right here. Cool. All right. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, we create the role, right? We instantiate it. And this is very similar to one that we did already. So we can say new role. This is the class. Sometimes you leave it like this. But if you have anything that you want to inject it with, we could. In this case, we're going to inject it with a, an array, an associative array that's going to have the row in there. All right. I hope you see what we're doing. Okay. And then we say, okay, user, I want you to grab your roles and save this role. There we go. All right. Okay. Everything looks really good here. Remember, we can put this whole thing just to save we can put this whole thing in here and save a line of code how about that huh does that look better to you make sure that you import this role model as well on top that looks good to me guys in two lines of code we look at all we're doing we're finding a user we're checking for its relationship and we're saving a relationship wow unbelievable right Let's go to create real quick and let's see if we get some type of error. Ah, oh, we didn't get any error, guys. Oh, I love errors. Anyway, roles, we got the role inserted with the created and updated timestamps. Wow. Well, columns. And they are type timestamps. Wow, guys. Beautiful, right? And let's go to this. Let's go to the role user and look at this. We created the role that we put data in here. The ID, 
the user ID one in row one, we assign this user a role. That it's beautiful, guys, right? Wow, I'm amazed, right? Amazed, beautiful. So now you know how to create in a many to many relationship, how to insert a role and how to assign it to a user already. Beautiful, it can't, it really cannot get better than this. Thank you so much, guys. You're learning a lot. I'm learning a lot by teaching you because the more I do this stuff, the better it's ingrained in my brain. All right. So that's why I always tell you, keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Well, I already know this stuff, but the more I write it, the more ideas I get about other things. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next lecture.